Hi everyone, it's Lucy and today we are doing another installment of the wardrobe The wardrobe declutter Specifically the variety where I try on all of my clothes And today we're doing jackets, jumpers, sweaters, outers, coats, that kind of dealio Outer, outerwear And by the way, if you hear a noise in the background, it is not spirit that haunts my apartment Different guy It's just the wind So, don't know I was gonna do pants or skirts today, but then I chugged into menstruation station, so decided against that. Going for full comfy pants today, we are in the trenches. <laughs> I thought I didn't have that many pieces of outerwear. Like when I was thinking about it, I was like, I don't think I have that many coats, like I don't think I have that many jackets. But when you kind of look across like the whole category, like jumpers, jackets, sweaters, coats, that whole category, you got a little bit to go through. They're kind of all like tucked away in here. So we shall see how we go. I am ready to dive in. I am just gonna remove some of my extra accoutrement before we get started. Because I think after a few total neck jumpers, the hair and earring situation could become a little, a little frazzled. So while I do that, let's give a big shout out to this video sponsor, Vivaya. I'm so happy to be working with Vivaya again, who are longtime supporters of the channel. And if you didn't already know, Vivaya is a footwear brand that have a variety of classic and stylish designs that have a focus on being eco-friendly and sustainable. And I have a few pairs from their newest collection to show you. First up, we have the Margot, which is in the currently very trendy, but to me always classic Mary Jane style. These are in the denim blue, which I thought was really cute, but they do have them in a bunch of other colors as well. And what I love about Vivaya shoes is not the fact that they're cute, which they are, but they're also super comfy. All their products are made using a seamless 3D knitted design, which uses recycled materials with each pair of shoes being the product of six recycled plastic bottles. Then for my girlies on the hunt for a classic pair of heels, they have these, which are the Titley. And you can wear these on their own, of course. But if you wanna add some cuteness, they have these little bows you can attach like so. And they actually improve the insole to be even more comfortable, as you can see by the cushiony padding. And this is maybe my favorite style from Vivaya. These are the Leas. They're cute little like kitten heel slingbacks. These are the new color, but I have them in another shade and I have worn them so much because they're very versatile, they're comfy. So when I need to like walk places, I can still walk in these, but I can also still look occasion appropriate. I just love the Leas. And I actually took this style traveling with me. Like I get so, so, so much wear out of these. Anyway, I have linked all of my Vivaya shoe picks below as well as the their website and I do have a code with them which is Lucy Vivaya which you can use to save when you shop. Thank you so much to Vivaya for supporting the channel and let's get back into it. Okay I am prepared. Let's just jump into it shall we? This is a little cropped off-white cardigan I have from Princess Polly with just like a single button clasp in the middle. I do share this wardrobe with my boyfriend so it's not like huge and in Australia we basically have two main seasons. Hot which is like nine months and then cold, which is for three. Anyway, my point with that weather report and tangent was that I tend to swap out my winter and summer clothes because the clothes I need for the very cold part of the year are not the same ones that I need for the very hot part of the year. But I obviously do have a really solid chunk of like transitional pieces. And this was one of the ones that I've kept in for winter, but it's definitely, to me, it's more of like a spring summery kind of option. You know, it's cropped, it's light, it's white, so it matches with a lot of like more pastel colors that I tend to wear in the warmer months and in the colder months too, but that's neither here nor there. But I just haven't really been wearing it because it's not like the kind of layering piece that I'm opting for at the moment. But it is the kind of thing that comes in really handy when I'm wearing like a sleeveless dress and just want like a little bit of sun protection. You know what I mean? You're wearing like a nice sundress that you don't really want to wear something with, but you also don't want to get cooked the crisp in like the walk from the Uber kind of thing. And don't get me wrong, this is cute, but like I tend to use it in that more utilitarian kind of way. So that one is a keep. Next up, we got some vesties. This is not really gonna give like the proper effect because I basically always layer these, but you know. <laughs> so this one I layer with something with like a collar underneath, which admittedly I did get rid of my collared blouses in the other video because they weren't really like serving. I do think I am just gonna buy one of those like detachable like collars because I love the like oversized collar look. And I feel like if I just had a big collar, then I could just do that without necessarily relying on shirts that aren't quite fit for purpose. But anyway, we're workshopping it. Uh, yeah, I think I got this one on Yes Style like a while back. I just really like the colors, you know, black, pink in your area. It's, it's a good vibe. And I like the cropped length as well. It's fun, love a crop. Anyway, this one's staying. Then we have this one, which I think I got from Chew. This one is not as form-fitted. It's got more of like a baggy kind of oversized structure. 
So I usually layer this over like a turtleneck or something and like tuck this into a pair of jeans or like a little mini skirt. It's good. I also like this one. This one is also staying. Ooh, I don't know if I've like talked about this one before. Maybe I have. I love this jacket. This one I got from Teddy Fresh. I got it on sale at a really good price and it is really beautiful quality. Like I was really shocked at how nice the quality is and I just love all the colors. And you can obviously zip it up and wear it as a turtleneck or you can kind of like roll it down to be more of like a collared vibe. And it's really warm too. And the material composition is 70% merino wool. And I remember getting this in the sale and it was less than a hundred, which isn't like cheap. There are designers who are charging a lot more for like wool or cashmere options and the percentage is a lot lower. So yeah, I just really, really like this piece. It's very, very cute. Also, I don't know if anyone else listens to the H3 podcast, but. And then I got this jumper from Rowie the Label recently. And again, this is where I'm like, I need that like little collar because how cute would this be styled with like a nice big chunky collar? Just think of the possibilities. Anyway, it's really cute on its own. It is 30% merino wool and 30% alpaca. It is very soft, very cozy. Cropped fit, this gorgeous like lilac-y almost, baby pink. Nice little scrunch on the arms. Like this is, it's very me coated. Yeah, I love this jumper. Like <laughs> it's new to my wardrobe and I'm sad that the cold months are like ending soon because like I won't be wearing this as much and I've just really, I'm really into it. So far it's all keep. <laughs> and this one, I'm telling you now, it's gonna be another keep. So sorry to disappoint. This jumper I just picked up on my trip to Japan a few months ago. And I do still have videos that I filmed in Japan that will be coming out. They're a little more time intensive to edit because of like the format, but like they're there, they exist. I'll just be kind of like dotting them in throughout my regular kind of not in Japan content. But I got this jumper at a thrift secondhand store in Koenji and it was quite affordable and it is from Banana Republic, <laughs> which is a bit random, but I love this color. This kind of baby blue is like my favorite color and I just feel like it really, really suits me. And it is cotton, rayon, silk and cashmere blend and it is so soft, but it's like lightweight, it's comfy. And I really like like thicker, like chunkier knits. So it's nice to have something a little bit lighter weight. And this was actually really handy throughout the rest of my trip traveling. You know, you got the long sleeves, but it's still like holding in enough warmth, but it's not like too thick that it's like sweaty. It's a little bit baggy and a little bit longer lined, like fashionably, it's not like my most fashionable piece. But because it's really lightweight, you can like tuck it into things quite easily. Not that tucking it into this is gonna be the best look. With these pants, it looks a little bit silly like that. You get my point, but I can also kind of like push it up a little bit. And again, imagine it with a big collar. I really need to sort that issue out because I have a bunch of outfits in my wardrobe where I'm like, but imagine what this would look like with a piece that I don't have. And it's like the same piece in every scenario. So I just need to, I need to sort that. <laughs> anyway, this is also staying. But this one, we gotta talk about this one. So this gorgeous pink option is a 100% wool YSL vintage jumper. I got it off of Bai, which if you've watched any of my videos where I talk about Bai and some of my vintage finds from there, strongly recommend it is so good. But so I saw this online and I thought it was really gorgeous and like it is, and I got it for a great price, so no hate. However, I have found that every time I have come to put this on, to wear it, I just don't, I don't know, there's something about it. And now in hindsight, I hate to bring it up again, but it is, it is, it has actually just been very helpful and relevant to me. After figuring out my color season, I think it's the color. And this is like a cool toned, like magenta berry pink, but I just feel like it kind of wears me. Like it's too bright. It's almost like bordering on neon. It's gorgeous, but like, I, is it just me? Am I like Delulu? Like, is it actually fine? Cause I just feel like I kind of like fade away in this jumper. I don't know. I, I love the color and it's so pretty. And this is the type of color where I would wear this like as a skirt or pants, but it's like a little too like saturated, a bit too bright. I think, which makes me sad because I like really like this jumper, but I don't, I don't know if I like it on me. And I would be a lot happier if I didn't have this really gorgeous jumper being held hostage in my wardrobe and not being worn. And I could just like sell it on Depop and someone else could like have this really nice, like 100% wool vintage sweater. Like I think, you know, it, I don't know. This wind is crazy. And I feel like it's always the ones where it's like, I really want to make it work. But every time I try, it just doesn't feel right. Those are the ones that are like, you know, they need to, they need to go. Like the item sparks joy, but like wearing the item does not spark joy. So I think I'm gonna sell this one on Depop. See, now this jumper is more of like the pink that I like. I swear I'm not trying to give you a color analysis video, but I actually just rewatched bits of mine the other day to like refresh my memory. This kind of pink, see how it's like bright, but it's not like as neon-y. 
I feel like this one just doesn't overwhelm me color wise as much as the other one does. This one is from Cos. I got it on sale and it is a 100% wool and I know some wool is kind of like itchy but this one is not itchy. It's very comfortable. This one is definitely like a more baggy slouchy kind of vibe but I tend to just kind of like tuck the front in or actually I use like a hair tie and kind of like bundle it underneath to make it more of like a cropped vibe. But this is another one that I took traveling with me that I just was like very into for the comfort factor. It's just very cozy. It's very warm. It's nice quality. Next up we have this cardigan which is one I got from Depop and it is from For Love and Lemons. This cardigan is really cute and I really like the style. I kind of wish it was not a size medium and a size small because I think for this style it's just a touch too baggy off like what I think it's meant to be. Like it's meant to be slouchy but I think these are meant to be a little more fitted and like this is meant to be fitted, you know what I mean? Like fitted here and like slouchier here. So I tend to wear this cardigan like fully buttoned up kind of like a top mostly and I got it in the size medium again on Depop so it's not like I can just like pick but I kind of am like if I saw a small on Depop I would maybe buy that and then sell this one. I think it's just it's just a little big. Like not by much, like it obviously fits fine, but I just think like stylistically I would prefer for it to be the size down. It's definitely meant to be worn closed, like worn open it's not quite giving. Such a minor nitpick and I'm kind of tempted to sell it maybe. Uh, hmm. Someone commented on my last video where I was talking about this similar issue where I had a top and I was like I wish I got it sized down like the fit is just not quite right. And they're like why don't you just get it altered and I don't know why that didn't occur to me. I'm just so used to getting like pants altered because I'm like oh that's something that you like should get altered like it's a normal alteration and in my brain I was like why would I get a t-shirt altered like it's so much trouble like I don't know. <laughs> so maybe if it's not like too much trouble I could get this altered but I feel like Maybe it's more difficult to alter this kind of knitted vibe, but also I am not a seamstress. It is not my area of expertise. I am not good with like technical fingers, <laughs> like arts and crafts. Like I see so many people and there are people in the right royalty discord and they are so talented and they're like crocheting and like making all these amazing things. And I think it's so cool, but just, you know, when you just know you're like, ah, oh, this, this hobby is just not one that I feel like would click for me. <laughs> I feel like it's really nice to have a like creative type hobby, a hobby where you make something. And for me, I feel like it's cooking or baking. Like I find that really enjoyable, but I understand like why people don't like cooking and baking. And you know, never say never, but just like at this point, you know when you just look at something and you're like, oh yeah, like that, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> like I have my creative quota hobbies. I have my like, you know, activity sport hobbies. And then I have my like rotting, like relaxing hobbies, which is just like playing video games. <laughs> this one is cute, but I think it's like a mate. I'm gonna put it in the like, talk about getting this fixed pile. It's just about whether or not that fix would be worth it or if someone else would just like it as it is, you know? Just weighing up these very, very heavy, intense decisions. <laughs> Okie dokie, now we have this gigantic cardigan. I have been getting quite a bit of wear out of because it's just so cute. I got this one from Steel, which is an Australian brand that I really like. I don't know, just like the recent stuff they've come out with, I've been like, ooh, ooh. So this is like a really big like oversized like balloon sleeve cardigan you can't even really see can you see if i there you go you can kind of i'll just i'll just get in you can see like how long it is i just feel like it's a really easy way to dress up like a little crop top and jeans kind of combo like if you just have something like super casual but you want to make it more like cozy and like a little bit more feminine like this cardigan is like a bit of a you know like it's a bit of a scene stealer but like an outfit what is the word for that like, accent pick no what is the word for thing that pop be more? <laughs> I've forgotten the word. Like the opposite of a basic? A I can't think of the word at this point in time, but you know what I mean? It's like a bit of a, a statement, sta statement piece. This is a bit of a statement piece. And I don't really have any other pieces like it, like a really nice long line, cozy, big kind of cardigan. And also look, it's got all like little bubbles on the sleeves. It's so cute. So yeah, I like this one. It's good. I have a couple of little like ugh, folded guys in there. This one was in like my original chew haul on my old channel if you've been watching for a while. If you're like newer here, I had a second channel and I started that in like, I don't know, it was a while back. I was in uni and it was like one of the like first few videos I did on that YouTube channel and it kind of like popped off unexpectedly and I didn't really like know what 
to do so I didn't really like take advantage of it. It was a Chu haul like trying on fashion from this Korean brand called Chu and their stuff was like so cute and like feminine and playful and like oh, it was so good and I feel like their vibe is kind of shifted now. You know the new stuff is like not really hitting for me but ho hopefully maybe the new things will hit. The night. But this was a jumper from them. Um, I don't wear this one a lot anymore. It is kind of cool, I feel like. Like when I'm like up here, like the, the how chunky the neck is and like the, you know, the cable net kind of vibe. I'm like, oh, it is kind of a cool jumper. But I'm not sure if I like like how long line it is with like also the baggy combo. Like, it, and it's quite thick. So like tucking it is like a bit of a challenge and it's got like a split hem. But what if I cropped it like that? That could kind of be a sleigh. What if I did that? Or maybe it's time has come. Like the fact that I haven't worn it at all this winter is to me kind of like, well, you probably wouldn't miss it if it wasn't there. It's cute, but it's not like as cute as the other ones that I already have and love. So maybe, maybe we say adieu. Unless you comment and tell me I'm making a horrendous decision, in which case I may reconsider. But I think, I think I'm on the right track and I think this one is a goodbye old friend kind of vibe. This one is another jumper from that same video. And as you can see, it's kind of like a rusty, dusky rosy kind of color again another oversized vibe this one i feel like i really liked when i was blonde this one i also got so much wear out of but again i'm just like it's not really it's not really giving to me in this moment like it's cute and i have some old pictures of me in this jumper that i really like but i'm also like i i wouldn't reach for this again over like other options that actually reminded me i have this jumper which is got a bit of a hole and like a tear in it so i need to get it repaired but i wanted to show it to you because it's like a very similar style to these other jumpers with like a nice big chunky like roll turtleneck vibe but i really like this color and it works with a lot more of my wardrobe it's like I don't know. So I have this and it's super, super cute. And I was wearing it a bunch on my trip to Japan. But while I was on the trip, it like ripped horribly and I didn't want to keep wearing it in case I would like make it worse or wreck it. And it was also like a, it was some sizable holes with like thread sticking out. <laughs> and you know, you put it in the like, take this to get fixed tote bag and then you like forget. And this is reminding me I need to get this fixed. But it's a very similar style. So it has very similar purpose in the wardrobe to those two other jumpers. And I like this one a lot more. And it's a lot nicer quality, like material, just like all around. I prefer this one so that's like a bit of stuff going on in my like reasoning rubric in my brain just so you know what's on the table you know with these decisions and then i have another jumper which is also very similar and i still wear this one pretty regularly it's like this dusky kind of mopey pink color it layers well and works well with other colors i have my wardrobe the material quality is really nice it's from a brand and this was years ago it was one of the first brands who like you know, wanted to like send me clothes and I was like, oh, okay. And they were really nice about it. They were like a small, like Australian brand, I think. But then I think they didn't ever launch or like they don't exist anymore, which is sad. But I still do reach this from time to time. So I will be keeping this. Let's rally troops, let's go. This is my only denim jacket. Well, it's like my only blue denim jacket. <laughs> this is from Princess Polly and I wear this pretty regularly and I get compliments on it like all the time, which is so fair because it's really cute. Little patchwork detail going on. I don't know. It's a little bit different than like a regular regular denim jacket. Another thing I really like about it is it's kind of like a more lightweight denim, which I know a lot of the time with denim, people do look for those like thicker, more rigid denim pieces lighter weight denim on me actually tends to work better because it's got a little bit more of a drape to it it's not quite as structured which i find that like i tend to prefer like softer lines so i still get like the denim vibe but without it being like the kind of you know more rigid like boxy vibe that a lot of denim jackets tend to be i don't really have a lot to say i i really like this jacket and i wear it a lot i don't know if they still make it or if it's still like around but uh, it's really cute it's one of those items where i kind of like picked it up at the time being like oh this is cute like i'll try this and it's just been like surprisingly very useful and versatile in my wardrobe and just like works so well with like a lot of the styles I like. So this jacket has been, yeah, super handy. Then I have this jacket and as you can see, it has a matching pair of pants, which we will try on in the pants one episode one video, the pants, the pants video. <laughs> and I must say, thankful we're not doing that today. This is the Abrant and Dyspnea set and it is so cute. Like it's, you know, it's quite a like statement piece and I feel like I typically only wear this jacket with like a pink getup if I'm going for like a Valentine's Day, like love core kind of vibe or I wear it like as a full cord with the pants, which is kind of fun, but I don't, I don't know. I just don't get enough wear out of it and it's really cool. And like, it's so, like, it's so sick, but I just don't, I don't really wear it. And I don't want to like just 
put everything in terms of a theory into like a bucket of like why I don't wear things because it's not always color it can be other things it can be things like fit or just general like personal style shifts or lots of other things right however <laughs> might I say <laughs> I think this pink is maybe a bit more of like a warm tone kind of pink maybe I'm completely delusional maybe it's maybe it's literally just a neutral pink and it's fine see if I put up like a cool pink like next to this does it am I losing my mind <laughs> perhaps not it's also probably something to do with like the fit it is a bit more of like that like rigid like structured boxy kind of vibe which I think is cool but it's not something I typically go for and not something I feel like at home in I don't know I feel like this is one of the ones where I'm like I could probably sell this because I know they don't make this anymore and it's so 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 cute and I know a lot of people like really into it and someone could have like the full set and wear it more often than I do I don't know maybe I should not do that but I just I don't know mm, I don't know mm, I don't know <laughs> Actually, ironically, I have this denim jacket, but then I also have this one, which is also a pink denim jacket. A little bit more of a color that I prefer. It's like a little bit more of like a dusky kind of mauvey pink. And again, this one is a little bit more floppy, a little bit less structured, a little bit more oversized. Mm. Admittedly, I do reach for this from time to time because it's quite a like plain, but still like complementary colored to a lot of things I own jacket. It's definitely more of like a very casual, like oversized look, which is very cool. I don't, mm, yeah, this one's tough. <laughs> this jacket falls into a similar category in where I'm like, it, it works like within my wardrobe to a degree and like in the structure of my wardrobe, it has a place, but I just feel like if this were in the same style as this jacket, I would like a lot more, but it's definitely just, it has a lot of elements about it that I really like, but that last element of the bits that I don't really like is maybe strong enough to maybe suggest that I don't need it. It serves like a functional purpose where from time to time I do throw this on, but it's usually never like an outfit where I'm like, oh, this is one for the feed. Like the outfits where I'm wearing this jacket are never the outfits that I'm like, really jazzed about and maybe that says something mm, i think perhaps it's a buy for now but let me know what you think maybe i'm being like too cutthroat you know i'm indecisive everyone and it's libra season right now as well so it's like double double trouble because i feel like it's a libra trait that they like you know aesthetic things they like pretty things they're drawn like little moths to pretty things and i would say that's very accurate however on the flip side i would say i'm not really like a maximalist like i enjoy optimizing clothing and things like I'm already indecisive as it is and then it makes like the indecisiveness more difficult when you have more options that are not optimal options I'm a bit indecisive on that one but I think that one's a goodbye for now goodbye then I have this cardigan I don't know how this didn't make it into the cardigans from the other video because I feel like I just did a lot of cardigans in that video but I think it's because I don't wear this one as a top I wear it like as an outer like 99% of the time so I just put it in the outer section i don't quite know but regardless um i really like this cardigan like even this combo with like the charcoal gray and the white and then the little pastel blue and green it's very cute every time i wear this cardigan i feel like it's very cute i actually got it from cider in a video that i did like ages ago we were like testing out cider and seeing how it was surprisingly i've gotten like so much wear out of this and i think you know it's quite nice quality and like the fit is nice and yeah like this is just super cute so i am keeping this and then last jacket and then I just have a couple coats and we're gonna be done but this is like a bomber jacket I got from monkey and on it I have some like little pins that I got and also like my boyfriend got for me so it's a cute kind of like item and I used to wear it a lot because I wore this a lot in uni where I was just kind of wearing like jeans and a t-shirt every day and I still wear jeans and a t-shirt a lot but you know what I mean like different kind of vibe I was going for more like cool pastel pop street i don't exactly know how to articulate it i was working things out style is always evolving it was fun it was cute i barely reach for this ever um and i just i don't i don't know hey hmm again it's a similar vibe where i'm like don't get me wrong it's a cute item but when it comes to like outfits i have floating around in my brain where i'm like oh i want to like do that or do something like that they don't feature a bomber jacket typically this is very like 2016 to 2018 Lucy Core, I feel, which is very cute, but also 
maybe not 2023 Lucy Core, so maybe I don't really know if I want this bomber jacket anymore. I don't know, is that? Mm -hmm. It's cute and it's cool. It's not really sparking joy though, okay? Gotta think of my girl Marie in times like this. So while we have like mild sentiment for this jacket, the jacket itself is not sparking joy. I will keep the pins though, because I feel like I can put the pins on like the denim jacket or something, because they're really cute. Very exciting news. That is everything in this closet. I do have one other small closet that I use for like big jackets and like suitcases and stuff. So I have like a couple of coats and I'll go grab them. Oh my gosh, I haven't worn this coat in ages. I don't know if you can like fully see it, but it's just like a gray trenchy sort of coat. I don't know. It's kind of just, it's, it's a coat. <laughs> I feel like coats is a little bit different because they're so utilitarian and it's like if you get rid of a coat uh, and then you don't have another one that works in its stead then you put yourself in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> I think this coat is fine. It's not particularly exciting but it's fine. It like is functional. Like I wouldn't put it on the Pinterest board as like my dream coat but I also don't wear coats a lot so it's not really like a huge thing for me and a lot of the time when you're going somewhere where you need a coat it is just the outer layer that you wear on top of every single outfit as like a utilitarian thing. Unless you like live somewhere cold. Like I have seen some coats online that I was like, oh my God, like they're so beautiful, but they're also like very expensive. And I don't really live in a coat climate. So at this point in time, I'm like doesn't really make sense for me. I don't have as much experience with coats as I do with like little white crop tops. <laughs> I almost forgot that I had this. This is like, I think it was really fun to like experiment with this. I've worn a couple outfits with this where I've been like, oh, that's like really different for me. It's kind of like fun to experiment. But at the end of the day, I don't really reach for this. Um, it's just not, yeah, it's not really like a piece that I would super reach for and I haven't really reached for it. Um, and I also don't wear a ton of black, but I am about to show you a black coat that I have actually gotten quite a lot of wear out. So I'll show you that now. Now, I feel like I say on here, I'm like, oh, I don't wear a black lot, but actually in the winter time, accessories wise like boots and bags and like skirts and like tights i do wear black but i just don't wear a lot of black close to my face it's like past knee length it's quite a long coat but it has like a little waist tie it's from and other stories i think they might still sell it and this coat has honestly served me so well it's really warm it has the super cute like faux fur cuffs and the collar the shape is really nice i feel like and it's just served me really well like i've gotten a lot of wear out of this and because it's not wool it's like almost like a nylon-y kind of material on the sleeves it's actually quite weather resistant as well like when it rains i don't have to stress too much about this coat like if it's like a light rain or something it just kind of like wipes off which is quite nice functionally i really love this coat i do feel like because it's black and has like the big faux fur collar and stuff it's quite overwhelming but i don't know if i hate that and a lot of the time if i'm like rugged up and it's like cold i will just like open it and tie the tie at the back so it's not like full black and you can kind of see the outfit peeking through it's kind of like extra and it's a little bit unexpected i feel like for me but i feel like paired with more like pastel-y kind of pieces this adds like a nice bit of like spice to the outfit and i also just like the shape to this coat like the way it kind of comes in it's just i think it's so cute when it's cold and i'm wearing like my little pastel jumpers with like a little black or like checked mini skirt and then my big like chonky boots or like mary jane's like this coat just works very well with those options so i really like this coat the only thing is it's just it's just very dark <laughs> and very big so it's quite like a full-on vibe but again, it's like I don't wear a coat that often and the types of outfits I wear when I'm wearing a coat work well with this. So, you know. And then last but not least, I think this might be one of the pieces in my wardrobe that I'm like most obsessed with. But you might have seen this before. Um, I also got this on Bai. It is a secondhand vintage Versace coat that I got for like less than a hundred bucks. And it's like shearling and it's like pink shearling like if i want a big opulent coat kind of vibe i have the black one and then i have this one which is more of like a casual but again a colored vibe instead of being black i really really love this the only thing is because it's quite old the suede has become like discolored i don't know how well you can see it on camera but you can see like under the armpits and stuff like the more like protected areas it used to be more of like a lighter pink and now it's gone kind of like gray beige so i want to see if i can get this restored to be a little bit more of like a more vibrant pink as opposed to being the sort of gray beige color which i actually don't hate i have worn it like this and been like meh but 
you know, just brightening it up a little bit because like I can see peaks of like what the color used to be more like. And you can kind of see it on the back too. Like there's just a few different colors going on and I would just really like to get it fixed, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet because I feel like it's going to be expensive. It's so warm. It's so cozy. It's so me. Like it's pink. It's pink on the inside. And then it's meant to also be very pink on the outside. I really thought this one was going to be like a shorter one to film, but looking at how long I've been recording, not the case. <laughs> The light is fading, the uterus is pulsing. I think it is time to wrap it up. A big thank you again to Vivaya for supporting the channel. All the links will be in the description box below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do because we have a few more things to go through. We've got dresses, skirts, pants. I am not yet free from this process. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.